we're going to break first um, and actually go into the way that it connects through the neck into the shoulder. The first lines that you put down are never going to be totally accurate, so do them lightly and don't be addicted to them. Um, the head basically starts as an egg shape, um, and then you put a hemisphere around it at the center where the eyes are going to go. The neck is basically a cylinder that connects to that. Um, once you start putting in features, uh, you kind of base it off of that hemispherical center line. So put in a nose and the eye socket. Um, and when you do eyes, you got to make sure that you do focus on the, the eyeball, the eye socket, what's around it, and not just kind of the almond-shaped contour of an eye that you think is there. Um, when you get down into doing neck structures, there are basically a series of cylinders that you're going to overlap onto each other. The first thing that you're going to do is um, uh, indicate some detail in the head as it connects down um, so that you have something to anchor it onto. You're going to have the sternomastoid muscles and the throat, um, and you can kind of see where these places connect. The sternomastoid goes right kind of behind the jaw uh, and behind the ear, and the throat goes in between the two sternomastoid sections. And so you can kind of uh, think of those as, as like tubes or hoses or, or wires that connect everything together. The ear is a simple cone, a wide-shaped cone, and then those locations kind of give you the back of the base of the skull, and you can refine that. So each time you add anatomy, you can you can kind of go back through and reobserve. You also want to be sure you get the the side of the head, um, and use that little arc to kind of define that plane. Um, then when you work into the shoulder, a little bit of anatomical knowledge helps. Essentially, you're going to create a, the trapezius muscle and connect it with the clavicle, and that gives you the basic um, shape of the shoulder. The clavicle, again, is just kind of a curved cylinder that goes out. And the trapezius, you can use sort of a, a, a wedge shape to connect everything together. And if you get them going in both directions to both shoulders, that would be the absolute best situation. Um, then you're going to kind of connect that down into the arms and into the torso. But I think it's important to work on these connective structures between the head and the rib cage and the pelvis and the rib cage and so on, so that you get an understanding of how this all fits together. And that's a labeling of all of the anatomy that you would need to know to do this.